Hello viewers and my dear students. Welcome to session 1 on problem 2 demo on use of CAM software that is edge cam for generation of GNM codes for taper turning and groove cutting profile. That is in problem 1 I totally concentrated on this is a simple step turning problem. Now in this problem 2 as you see here it is a CNC taper turning and groove cutting video tutorial using edge cam that means you have not only taper turning and also groove cutting here and how to do this using edge cam and to generate GNM codes is the problem. Okay, now we will see this how exactly it has to be done. See here this is the problem given and this is a typical problem what they give in so many universities and all that even in VTO and in so many autonomous institution private universities and all that is a type of typical problem they give. You see here and you know very well X is always the diameter. Z is always the axis. Okay, this is diameter 52, this is diameter 100, this is minus 30, minus 15, minus 25, minus 20, minus 30 and all that. This uh, for a common origin here, I will calculate the dimension for this, dimension for this, dimension for this point, this point, this point, this point, this point and this point. You see here, I have calculated the dimensions for all this. This is 0, 0, 52, 0, 52, 52 is the diameter minus 30 here. Now if you come down for groove cutting, the 10 it is 10 mm, 10 mm groove, 10 mm depth, it is 42 minus 30. This is 42 minus 45 because diameter remains same. This is 40, 52, same, 52 minus 45. Okay, this is 52 minus 70. This is a taper turning where X and Z both change 100 minus 90. This is 100 minus 120. Okay, this is the profile I draw with a common origin. This is called the using absolute coordinate system. We will do the modeling part. Okay, now what you do is, now I will show you how exactly to do it in edge cam. See here, file, new you do. Okay, file, new you do, options you go, compulsorily take it in ZX environment. Compulsory take it in ZX environment. Okay, then you go for polyline and carefully, as I just now told you, enter the coordinates. Okay, first is 0, 0. 0, 0, you enter, continue it as. Next it is, you just have to take from the previous slide, 52 is the X and Z is 0. Okay, then continue. Then 52, that is x is 52, okay, and z is minus 30, minus 30 you take, continue, okay, that's your got. Then the glue, this is 42, x is 42, and z is, it limits say minus 30 only. In that way, minus 30. Okay. Then, x is 42 only. And z is minus 45. Okay. Then, x is 52. And z is minus 45. Z is minus 45, you take. Okay. Then x is 52 and z is minus 70 you take. These are all things what I have taken. I am taking from the previous slide only. You get the, uh, that is plane portion. Now you have to get the taper portion where x and z both will vary. Now it is x is 100 and z is minus x is 100. Z is minus 90. Minus 90 you take. It is continue. Then X is 100. And Z is minus 120. Z is minus 120. In that way you do. That means the profile has been obtained as per my previous slide and all that. I have taken that same dimensions. You please look to that and complete this. Now once you do this, geometry you go. Stock and fixture you go. Okay, automatic stock you take. Cylinder compulsorily. Geometry you have. 
and start extension, radius extension, end extension, all that 5, 5 mm you take and 10 also you can take. As I told you, make the more stock, more material you have to remove and it's a waste of material. 5, 5 is enough. Okay. Now you just say, okay. Now if you do this, it is start extension 5 mm, end extension 5 mm. That means diametrically it has increased. If it is 100, it will be 120. Okay. And the end extension also will be 5 mm. In that way, 5, 5, 5 you have. Okay. Now in this way, okay, this, now we completely, up till here, it is a design phase. Okay. Now once the design phase is completed, now you go for manufacturing phase. Manufacturing phase, compulsorily you select for 2x.tcp only. Just say okay. Now we are going for manufacturing phase. Design phase is over and we have come to the manufacturing phase. We generate the tool path and all that here. Okay. Now if you do this, you see here first uh, tooling. Okay. Turn you take. Turn. Tooling turn. You say fine. Okay. Tooling turn. Fine. You take one rough turning tool, select and say OK. OK. And then under turn cycles, rough turn you take. You see compulsory rough turning. This all speed is 1200. Speed per point two, cut increment 1. X offset, Z offset 0.5. Can cycle safe approach. You have it same way. Compulsory, you are doing the facing first. Take the facing now. Just say OK. Now, you have to do the facing, no? If you rotate the middle button, it will increase. You just say, you click on this. Then right button, again right button, and you take little away and give this. Beautifully, you are getting the facing done on this, okay? This is the tool path for facing, okay? Now again, tool, tooling, turn you take, okay, fine. You take another tool, rough turning tool only. You just say select. Okay. Just say okay. Another turning tool is selected. Okay. Then turn cycles you take. Rough turn you take. Okay. This is 0.3. Feed revolution. Feed rate is 0.3. And uh, speed is 1200. Rough turning speed 1200 only you take. X offset. Z offset. As given in the problem. 0.5 only you take it. Okay. X offset. Point, uh, that is. And Z offset. 0.5 only you take. And cut direction. Compulsorily, you take turn here. Okay. Just say, okay. You get the tool. See here. Here, 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 and here. You are doing the rough turning. Leaving an alliance of 0.5. That means, as you know, this is diameter 52 means. It will be after rough turning, it will be 51. Uh, sorry, sorry, 53. Okay. And 0.5. That is depth of cut 0.5. That it comes to 52 during finish. Here, as you know, it is 100. 100 is the diameter. After rough turning, it will be 101. And 0.5 will be the depth of cut. And in during finish, that 0.5 will be removed so that this becomes 100 only. Okay. Now, once you do this, once you select all that, uh, select the right button. Again, right button. And take somewhere here. Okay. And start the finish. That means this tool path for finishing or the, sorry, tool path for Rough turning is also we have obtained. Okay. Now, once you do this, okay, now you go for tooling, turn, tooling, turn you do, find you do. Okay. Then finish turn, you take this, select OK. See, select OK. Okay. Once you select this, okay, turn cycles. Finish turn you do. Now finish turns no set offset of the X offset will also if you don't mention it is zero. Now it will be the only the offset will remove. You, uh, and speed is uh, 2000. You take the speed as 2000 RPM. Just say okay. Okay. Now as you see here, finish turning here point five lens is left. From here you take this, you take this, you take this, you take this. Okay. And then once you select all this, just say right button. Again, right button. 
write button. Okay. Now the finish turning. This also has been obtained. Okay. Now once you do this, paper turning, everything is over. Now we have to concentrate on the groove cutting. Okay. Now tooling. Here you go for groove here. Groove find. Okay. In the groove cutting, no. This groove cutting you take. Okay. 3 mm width you take. Now it is 6 mm. Okay. I'll select. Okay. The width you change it to 3 mm only. 3 mm you take. This say okay. Okay. Groove cutting. Then turn cycles. Rough groove you select. Rough groove you select. Okay. Then rough groove if you select. CS speed 1000. Cut increment 1. Feed rate is that. Z offset, X offset, all that you take it as it is. Just say OK. You are getting the tool. See here. You clearly cut on this. Cut on this. Uh, select on this. Select on this. OK. Then take the tool because all would have been uh, finished. No. This cutting and all that would have been finished. Now you can take the tool somewhere here. Right button here. Right button here. Right button here. Okay, now you see here. Beautifully, it has cut. Because this is 3 mm. First, it will cut. This is 3 mm. This is 3 mm. And uh, in installments, it will cut here. Okay. Every time, it is 1 mm is the cut increment. Okay. It will cut the entire thing. Then rough grooving is over. Again, tooling. Turn. Fine. Okay. Sorry. Tooling. Tooling, groove, find. Let us say you take this only. Okay, select. And you make 3 mm only. 3 mm. Say okay. Okay, I have to select the grooving tool again. Now by turn cycles, now I do the finish grooving. I do the finish grooving here. Now see here, it's Z offset, X offset. That offset, whatever has been left and all that will be removed. Let us say speed is 1000 and all that. I will say OK. OK. Carefully you see. I will select this. Select this. Select this. OK. Right button. Again, right button management. Carefully learn this. OK. And now that also is good. OK. OK. Now, now we have got all this. Now once you do everything, now everything is over. Now what you have to do is simulate machining. You simulate machining, you go. It takes some time because this would have occupied a huge memory. So many operations you would have done. Okay. Okay. Now, every procedure is over. That is rough, uh, that is facing, rough facing is over. Rough turning is also over. And rough uh, finish turning is over. And rough grooving is over. Finish grooving is also over. In that way, everything has been finalized. Now, only thing removed is that is 3D simulation has to be shown, and I'll be showing the 3D simulation shortly. Okay. Okay, 3D simulation I am showing. And in the section 2, we will show you the, the finer aspects and all that. Okay, finer aspects and all that. Now, we will concentrate on 3D simulation and all that. Okay. Okay. Now, you see here, once you do this, you are keeping the right first button, you turn it. And you speed the uh, speed control, you make it minimum. You start that simulation. Okay. You can increase the speed slowly. You see it? Okay, 
Now this has been done and the, the second uh, 